Good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A yellow sun. That's right. Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A yellow house. Yes! And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a yellow flower. That's right! What's this one? That's a yellow wiggle bug. <laughs> Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a yellow sun. A yellow house, a yellow flower, and a yellow wiggle bug. What do they all have in common? They're all yellow. That's right. Today, I'm only painting yellow things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make yellow our special color of the day. Crunching leaves, but only yellow leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. 
great! Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look! My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> Look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... We clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. Which pencil is yellow? There it is! Yellow pencil. Which kite is yellow? There it is! Yellow kite. Which hat is yellow? There it is! Yellow hat. Which flower is yellow? There it is. Yellow flower. Very good. It's story time. Yay! Get around, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called, What's in the Pot? In this story, Sam wants to know what's for dinner. Let's see if we can guess. Let's begin. What's in the Pot? Written by Crystal Warren. Illustrated by Haley Alonzo. Designed by Rot Western. What's for dinner, asks Sam. It's a surprise, said Mama, putting a big pot on the stove. She added a pitcher of water. Sam was worried. Are we having water for dinner, he wailed. It's a surprise. Wait and see, replied Mama. Can I help, asked Sam. I could stir. You are still a bit short, said Mama. The pot might fall over. But you can help me get things. Can you bring me an onion, please? This doesn't smell very nice. It will taste nice once it is cooked. Now I need some tomatoes. No, that is an apple. The tomatoes are also round and red. You will find them in the fridge. Can you bring me potatoes? They are round and brown. Is dinner ready yet? If you are hungry, you can eat the apple while you wait. Well, what about these? No, we won't need cookies. We can save those for after dinner. What's in the pot? It's a surprise. Wait and see. What about this? That is a watermelon. It will be too big for the pot. See if you can find some spinach. It is also green. Please get some bread. 
No, it won't go into the pot. It will go on the table. Mama carried the pot to the table and started to dish up. What's in the pot? asked Sam. Soup! My favorite! The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called hush bye Baby. And look what I have in my backpack. An electric bass. I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. Okay, let's begin. Hush a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Now this time, we'll all sing together, okay? Okay! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! hush bye baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. We're about to practice our counting together. Come on! One, two, three, four. Don't stop now, let's count some more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing great. When we see some flowers or butterflies or stars, we count so we can find out how many things there are. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Let's look for things to count. Oh, I'm not very good at counting by myself. You're not very good yet. I'll help you. Let's count Z stars. One, two, three, four. Four C stars. Now let's count shells together. One, two, three. How many in all? Three. Yeah, you got it. Now you try, Hedgehog. Count the rocks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many rocks are there in all? Six! You did it! Thanks, Monkey! Hey, I have an idea. Let's count all the grains of sand on the beach. Yeah! yeah! That may take a while. See you soon. Monkey! Monkey! Hmm, where is he? <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Look! <laughs> Where 
color do you think Monkey is? It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush a bye. Don't you cry Go to sleep, my little baby When you wake You shall have All the pretty little horses Blacks and bays Dappled and gray Don't 